everybody, it's Carla from Casey Creates. I wanted to share a VR and pro sort of a slash project share. Um, I'm participating in a challenge. It's being offered by Shaz at Crafted Seasons and it's a really fun one. I hope you might you check it out. Um, we're altering a boot and um, you can do any theme, any style. Um, and so for my love of fairies and the woodland forest, I used um, this book as my inspiration. It's called Flower Fairies. I'm sorry for the glare. Um, but actually, it's how to find flower fairies. And inside, there's these wonderful, um, let me try to open it here, pop-up pages. Can you see those? I'm not getting a very good angle on it. But let me just show you the page that was my main inspiration, which is this one. Oops. Hold on one second, guys. Sorry about that. This is my main inspiration page, and it's of a tree in the forest, and if you can look way up at the top, you'll see a little fairy hiding there. I just love the whimsical, childlike um, expressions of fairies hiding in trees and under toadstools, and I love the earthiness, so I created an altered boot with this page as my main inspiration um, and there's just fern and it's got some sparkle and so yeah this is a wonderful book and I used it to create this I covered it because I thought if you saw it right away you'd go whoa so this may not be everyone's cup of tea because it's a little busy but it really was fun to create and I hope you like it so what I started with was actually, like I said, a boot that I wear because I didn't, it didn't work out that I could find one to just totally alter. So I'm calling this my boot costume because believe it or not, it's mounted on this vintage handkerchief and it can slide completely off. Um, so um, if you're worried about not having a boot, you can actually create something that is sort of a faux altered boot. I hope that's not cheating, Chaz. <laughs> Here's the uh, fairy house and I make fairy houses out of clay so I just kind of reached back to some of the elements that I put on my clay fairy houses. This is the roof and I think anything with fairies needs to sparkle. So of course I put layers of leaves, silk leaves and fabric and lace and then some, one little layer of the shimmery sequins um, and I just did that until I made sort of a dome shaped roof that sits on top so you can see that I hope and this is it all the way around put a little beaded handle on the top and there's a little butterfly hiding out up there and another doily because I wanted it to be a lace and fabric fairy house with just a few elements of reality like the leaves and things like that and then this was supposed to be a lace trellis but I ended up covering it with these roses I have tons of these I think they're called parchment roses and they're beautiful and they have like a dusty sheen on them and I thought that made them look kind of whimsical also so I wanted to use those um, and I wanted it to look like a trellis of flowers. Um, then the tree bark is this beautiful, it's kind of a variegated brown and I just made strips of felt and put them up and down and cut them a little irregular and jagged and then I lay, I kind of outlined them with some of this tiny trim 
and then the background it looks like you're walking into hopefully looks like you're walking into a flower garden I used uh, some of the canvas fabric and I created some vining with some sari silk and the stems from the parchment flowers so if you can see that there's some that is supposed to kind of represent roots on the tree and I curled some and just kind of shaped the leaves so it looks kind of like roots and there's a butterfly kind of lit on the on the, one of the leaves it was white and I just sprayed it pink so it's basically just layers of um, felt with a couple panels of the floral fabric all the way around lots of vining I like the little curly cues um, and then this panel is just some burlap to give it a natural kind of outdoor woodsy look and then we have a little brown butterfly hiding down here so these are the butterflies there's butterflies, there's flowers, there's leaves and trees and sparkle. And then for the last little touch, I had some of this faux moss. And so I'm going to shape this and lay it over the, the boot like so. And then I made some fun little toadstools. Can you see those? Let's see if I can move them. And they're just made with the stem from the silk flowers and then some crochet flowers I just wrapped over buttons actually I wrapped this over a little fabric rose flower this is an actual button and I think it turned out so cute as a toadstool and I love toadstools in threes so I wanted to make a cluster of three of them I thought you know what that'll just pop on there really cute like so, if you can see that. Let's turn it this way. I think it looks better. Yeah. So it's quite whimsical and not my typical style of strap of crafting, but I really had fun. Shaz is such a wonderful crafter and she comes up with great ideas. And if you don't go to her channel, I'm going to leave a link because she's a really calm teacher and you can literally craft right along with her working on your own or doing what she's doing but you'll enjoy her a lot I think she's a wonderful friend and a wonderful person so go over and join the challenge the, the other unique thing about this challenge is whoever wins um, is offered the chance to pick what the next challenge will be so this challenge is more about keeping us crafting and keeping us having fun as a community so I appreciate you watching and I hope you like my whimsical woodland fairy house <laughs> altered boot yeah there's a lot going on here isn't there but that's the beauty of crafting we do it because we love it and we like it so I appreciate you watching. I hope you come back again. Everybody have a good day. I'll put my toadstools back. <laughs> and I'll see you again soon. Bye.